Oh, I didn't, I didn't know who was looking at me. It's just me, Zach, on the end of the show. Oh, just Zach, all right. All right. Uh, you guys, we're joined now by Dynamo goalkeeper Michael Nelson. Uh, Michael, first of all, congratulations on uh, making your MLS debut. Um, I guess before I turn it over to the reporters, just kind of give us your overall thoughts on on the game this evening and just kind of uh, you know how you how you felt making your your league debut for your club. Yeah, it was it was a, a great opportunity for me. Um, I was very excited going into it. Um, as far as the the game goes, obviously we came out with a lot of intensity. Um, I mean, you could see early goal and just the, the energy that we had. Um, unfortunately, they tied it up and then a lot of back and forth throughout the game. And, and I felt like we had good spells of possession that we maybe could have extended and, and wore them out a bit more, maybe controlled the, the pace of play just a bit more. Um, and obviously, we're, we're disappointed with the way that that ended, given the way that we started. Um, but we have to keep pushing. That's, that's our only option. So we'll keep doing that. Thanks for that. I'll go ahead and turn it over to reporters. We'll start with Corey Repkin from the Houston Chronicle. Go ahead, Corey. Michael, um, that on, the, on the two goals that you allowed, I mean, as, as you looked at three split, was, was there anything you think could have been done on your end to help prevent those? I'm sorry, on my end or on the team's end? On your end. Um, you know, I haven't gotten a chance to really look at the video closely and dissect it. The first one, I thought our setup was good. Um, it's like a longer distance free kick. Um, and someone from our team, I can't remember which player, had gone to win it and it got flicked to the back post. The player at the back post then knocked it back across the goal and someone at the back post um, was there to tap it in. And so for me, it was kind of like a side to side play. I guess it was difficult to get a play on. I had to play the, the first angle in case that guy shot it and then he played it back across. So it was a very aware play by that guy to put it back across the goal frame. Um, and on the second goal, I think it was like a long throw in that the player held up, brought in um, Finley for their team, who then played like a outside of the foot pass that kind of slipped someone else in, and they tucked it in the far corner. So difficult plays. Um, it, it's it's hard to say exactly where where things went wrong on those plays. Like I said, I haven't gotten a, a chance to look back at it closely, um, but there there are things um, we'll definitely look at. How, how would you characterize how the team's feeling right now? I mean, there's been a lot of talk of you know we're, we're we still believe in what's going on. We're being positive. As, as this thing goes on, how would you assess how the team's feeling now? I mean, we all have we all have a lot of hunger and desire to win, and so it's it's always very frustrating to to not get results at home, in front of our fans, um, where we feel like we have a strong advantage, especially given the way that we started today. I think we're all it's kind of a sour taste in our mouths to not get not get points out of that game. Um, so it's it's of course very frustrating to not get points, but the games come quick and it's. You can't dwell on it and let one game affect your performance next game. So we're, we're treating each one individually. And of course, we're frustrated with, with the results when they, when they aren't wins, especially at home. Um, but we're not going to stop working. We're always going to keep pushing. Um, and that's, that's really our only option. So I mean, we're, we're going to stick together and we're going to fight our way through this thing. Thank you. Thanks, Corey. Uh, next, we go to Garrett Heiner from HoustonDynamoFC.com. Go ahead, Garrett. Michael, congratulations. How did it feel to get your first save in league play just early on, fairly early on, and then you made a pretty big one later in the game? Yeah, it was great. I was glad it was one that I was able to hold. Um, I think the little voice inside my head was like, do not let the first shot be a goal. Like That is not how you want to start this. So um, it definitely felt good to get a hold, um, spent a little extra time with the ball on the ground just to be very secure with it. And I think I saw... Adam's feet right next to my face, giving me a, an attaboy reaching down. So felt good to, to get the first save out of the way um, and just kind of settle everything down. But I, I had a lot of confidence going into the game. Um, I've been with the team for a little bit now, and the coaches and, and all my teammates um, you know, vocalized their belief in me going into this game. And so I was confident. But of course, it, it felt nice to get that first save under my belt early. Um, nothing, nothing too, too specific or too groundbreaking, but, uh, Paul and I have a very good relationship. Um, he knows, you know, how to, how to get the best out of me, how to, how to develop me. And so I think, um, with the work that I've been able to put in within the last few years, 
Um, it's put me in a, in a good position to be ready for moments like this. And with Marco unavailable for this game, it was a, a good opportunity for me to, to go in and, and show what I've got. Um, but yeah, he, he and the staff told me th that, you know, they knew I was ready for this and um, just come in and do my best and, and help try to help the team get points. Obviously, getting drafted in 2018 and, and this game coming, this opportunity coming four years later. Yeah, it did. It did take a while, um, but sometimes you know, good things can take time. And, and goalkeeper is a position that tends to have kind of a, a longer development arc, I guess, than other positions. Like a lot of times, attacking players or or some defensive players can can get in games right away and. There's generally not an opportunity to have planned substitutions for goalkeepers in games. So barring, you know, red cards, injuries, and things like that, goalkeepers, you can't just be like, hey, let's put this kid on in the 85th minute and, you know, get him his debut or whatever. Um, so, yeah, it did take a while, but it's it's been an opportunity for me to just really focus on areas of my game that I need to strengthen and, and really develop myself so that whenever the opportunity did come, whether it was a year, two years, three years, um, however long it took, uh, I'd be ready for it. You mentioned earlier the... Uh hunger of, of, of all the players on the team, uh, obviously that applies also to you. Um, how much do you want to make this a permanent move uh, for you as the uh, starting goalkeeper? I think, I think my mentality has always been just to, to put my very best foot forward, give my best effort every single day on the field, be the best teammate that I can be off the field, and then let the coaches make the decisions. I think we always want to make life difficult on the coaches in that sense, and that you don't want there to just be no brainers all the time for, you know, people that play and, and Marco has been excellent this year in the games that he's played and, and he's earned um, the games that he's played. Um, and in this opportunity for me to start, I wanted to show, you know, that I was also able to play and, and just, I think the better goalkeeping group we have as a whole, that includes Kyle Morton as well. I think that's, that's great for the club. We all motivate each other. We all push each other and competition within, within the group is good. Um, so of course, I think we're all striving to play um, and all striving to, to earn the trust of the team and of the coaches, and I'll, I'll keep trying to do that going forward. Last one from my part. As a guy from the Houston area, how does it, how does this hurt for you, uh, the current form of the club, obviously 15 winless? Yeah, it's it's a tough pill to swallow. Um, even more so just seeing the the work that we've been putting in on a, on a daily basis. We're doing everything that we can to correct it. Guys are putting blood, sweat, and tears into it on a weekly basis. And um, it's very frustrating not being able to find to find results on the weekend. Um, but I think, you know, just to reiterate what I've said, there's there's still a lot of belief within this group. Um, you know, no one's turning against each other. We're, we've all got each other's backs, and we're trying to fight our way through this. Um, so of course, it's, it's frustrating. And you've just got to turn the page, try to approach each game individually, and put your best foot forward. Um, so we've got our eyes on Portland next week. Um, and we'll try to try to come out with as much intensity, as much fire as we can, um, and get get retribution for the the run of games that we've had recently. Thanks, Michael. And Michael, before I let you, I want to actually go back real quick to Victor's first question and what you how you answered that, talking about you know, as goalkeeper, you can't just get put on in the 85th minute to get your debut. With that, how important has your mental preparation been in getting ready for this moment, knowing that? It may be weeks at a time or even a full season before you get a chance to play that mental preparation week to week to, to make sure you're ready when you are called on. Yeah, I think you just have to you have to approach each game as if you might play. And it can be a very difficult thing. And like for me, this was, you know, three and a half years into my career with the Dynamo. This is my first my first league game. Um, but like I said, it's it's opportunities every single week to focus on what you need to focus on. Sometimes you'll get more reps. You know, the guy who's playing the games may need to get a little bit more rest the day before the game, so it allows you know the number two or the number three to get more reps in training that day, and really develop yourself and develop your confidence. And I feel like that's where you can develop the the belief in your ability, um, so that you know whenever your moment does come, you're ready for it. And so I felt that I was ready for this, and I think a lot of a lot of my teammates had my back and gave me words you know of encouragement before the game. The coaches just said you know go do your thing. We believe in you, and so you know the years of training my teammates have on my back. I think everything put me in a good mind frame going into this. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a long time coming, but you know, sometimes, sometimes that's how it is.
Congratulations again on your debut, and uh, have a great rest of the evening. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it.